Hello there, beautiful people. I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please be a witness for that for over 200 now videos on Shopify because they were mostly requested by you guys. I mean, subscribers. Some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell. I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. So every little thing I do create, I post it completely free on the channel, including the codes and the videos and everything. So it's your decision. I let you decide and I respect your decision. Just a like button if this video helped you out. And as I said, if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out. And here I am again, back with another requested video, as always, which is how to add animated background on, on the announcement bar on your Shopify store. And we will do that by using our own custom code, as always. So without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard. And they have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every code I do share, I do demonstration in the video on down team because it's the most used one also is the most requested one. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free Shopify most used teams, uh, which is refresh, spotlight, taste, sense, and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try all my calls behind the scenes on all of these teams. And I don't do that in the video. I do it in behind the scenes. So I don't bore people because it's going to be like half hour video. And I just have to say this in the beginning. So I give you that peace of mind because you're going to see me doing it on down team. And you might be thinking, oh, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it is. And here is your peace of mind. And with that out of the way, let's just get to it and show you how to add the animated background to an announcement bar on your Shopify store. And this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So every little thing that you see in the Shopify store, literally everything, I did it in tutorials. And I don't remove the changes from the Shopify store. I keep them so people can see them. So if you saw anything here that you liked and you think it looks good, you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel. Because once it's here, that means it's already done and posted on my channel. Including the moving text on the announcement wall, as you can see, with a link again on it. If I click on it, boom, it's going to take me to future products. Uh, now, yeah, as you can see, if I click on it, it's going to scroll back to the to future products. And I did show that in the video. But in this video, as I said, I will show you how to add an animated background in here with different colors, of course. And it will keep the moving text and it will keep the link as always. We will keep this page open do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store teams, then click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, instead, we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders, you might get dizzy or something. Use the search bar at the top left corner. And again, I have to repeat this for the million time because people keep asking, I can't find this, I can't find that. So it's going to be either base.css or team.css or style.css one of them most actually some custom made teams they're gonna have like custom.css but they mostly use base.css or team.css or style.css in my case i know it's base type in base first so you see here is base.css click on it after that we need to scroll down to the bottom of the file let me drag this because it's a huge file so i scroll all the way down to the bottom of the file and after that, we need to create some space to paste in our code, of course. So there is no space in here to create that space. Click front of the last thing in here, in my case, which is closing bracket. Then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We have a completely new line to paste in our code. And where are you going to get that code? You need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours. I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link named this code. Click on it. And it will take you to this beautiful page with this beautiful code, as you can see. So this code will actually add an animated background to our announcement bar. So as you can see, it says here, background color, background color, background color, and so on. So this is colors. This is an animated gradient colors. So it's going to transform from this color first to this color, to this color, and so on. So let me actually show you. If I Google this, this is the hex code color. If I Google it, it's going to show me a color as you can see and if i google the second one it's another color so play around with the with the colors to get the animation that you want that suits the shop the style of shop your shopify store let me 
show you that in action actually. So let me select the whole call. Make sure to select the closing bracket at the end. This is really important. So select the whole thing and the dot at first. Right click, copy, and we'll get back in here and paste it at the bottom of the file. I will keep the colors the same just for demonstration. And after that, we will click on the save button. Wait for a couple of seconds. We'll get back in here and reload the page. Here we go. Now we have an animated background as you can see it transformed from the blue to light blue to light green to green as you can see which is the colors I did set right here. This is blue, this is light blue, uh, uh, between blue and green, light green and green. And here is uh, in the Shopify store as you can see. So as I said play around with the colors to get the, the exact style that suits your Shopify store. And that's how you add animated background to other announcement bar on your Shopify store. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.